Like it or not, with Michael Lane right here on Smack Tongue Radio. Uh, hey, look, check this out, man. I want you all to know that I am officially a threat. I'm talking about not officially a, just a regular threat, but I'm talking about officially a threat, a real threat, a prominent threat. Knowing that my voice is being heard all over the world, I am now officially a true threat. All because I am a proud black constitutional conservative who has all kinds of sprinklings around him. I have a sprinkle of Republican, a sprinkle of Whig, a sprinkle of Tea Party, a sprinkle of Libertarian. That's who I am. I don't make no bones about it. I am not ashamed. I scream and I shout it. And because I scream and I shout it, and I try to educate people who are lost, who have been brainwashed like I was. But guess what? You know how I found out about the truth and what made me become a conservative? I didn't listen to I didn't listen to any uh any of these news outlets. I didn't read up on anything. I didn't even do any research. You know what I did? I took a look around. I started noticing stuff. Because I said, "Wait a minute. I'm I'm hearing things that are, you know, people are favoring liberal li- us liberals." In the media, people are facing. Uh, this is this is sometime in the 80s, in the late 80s. You know, especially after when uh, Harold Washington exposed these lying, pandering Democrats, one of the greatest mayors of all time, who was a Democrat, yes, but he exposed all of these lying ass Democrats and racist ones. But anyway. I took a look around and I said, man, because usually I remember when my grandfather told me that when a whole bunch of people believe in something, maybe you should look into it because truth is unpopular. Truth is not met by most people. Truth hurts and people do not like pain. So when I started looking at how Hollywood and how mu- the music industry and everybody started looking and how they start, you know, how people, how it was seemed to be okay to dog the name of Jesus Christ, but it wasn't okay to dog anybody else. And one of the biggest things that I did as a young boy or a young teen I stepped outside I stepped outside and I looked at my neighborhood how broken down it was how busted up it was and looking at my people how screwed up they were and I'm thinking back in the in, in my mind how these liberals and how these people around me were telling me how much these Democrats care about us and our well-being and then I started listening to what these people were saying, how they constantly said funding, how they constantly were talking about welfare and handouts. I started thinking about this. I started looking at my mother. I started looking at my family members and people around me, some of my best friends, and how they were living their lives, living it, and dying on welfare, dying dead broke. Never satisfied, never happy, never advancing. And then when I see my friends dying on welfare, people I knew, and they're all voting constantly for Democrats and saying how much Republicans and, 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 and all these people are, are just, they just hate you and they don't want you to advance. 
but yet you're advancing? That's when I started looking at things. And how liberals found it acceptable to put Jesus in a pool of blood, his crucifix, in a pool of blood or in a, in a bucket of urine, and it's called art to them. Including Obama is art to him too. So I'm looking at, uh, uh, that's all I wanted to do is teach that. And, and, and I learned and I came around and I'm saying, people always told me, each one, teach one. When you learn, you spread it. Because it's important and it's valid. It, and now people, look, now I am a threat. Because I am educating my people. Not just all Americans and, 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 and people from around the world, but minorities. People here in Chicago, black people, are starting to pay attention to me. Knowing that I'm only doing nothing but trying to help and elevate them. I'm not going to get, I'm, this is why I'm a threat. I'm not going to give this fool any props or any help of, or any publicity. Because he's an idiot. He's a racist idiot. So I'm, I'm just going to give you. And I'm not going to read the email. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give. I know you're listening. And I'm not going to give you any type of pub whatsoever. So you can cut that out. But I'm going to. You know who I'm talking to. You know I'm talking to you. But I'm not going to. Because because these people are cowards. I call them YouTube keyboard pushers. This fool has been following me. This fool has been trying to listen to every word that I say. Now I, I, I hope and I hope you enjoy the show. I hope you you talk about the indie music. You say I should stick to playing indie music, and that's fine. And I hope you enjoy those shows. And I hope you you continue to listen. But you're a buffoon. But I'm going to explain to my people all around the world that this fool has been following me on Twitter, seeing what I'm going to type out on Twitter, seeing what I'm going to do on Facebook, seeing what I'm going to um, say on the show and all this stuff. And then he emails me constantly. He started emailing me tons. I mean, writing out sonnets. I don't need that. But he started calling me all kinds of names Amos and Andy Al Jolson uh, uh, all types of blackface blackie oh 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 what he's a run for it nigger that's what he called me but guess what this person is black and this is my point this person is black saying calling me all kinds of nasty filthy racist names I am a, an official threat I'm an official threat to stop the money making from these criminals these hoodlums these race swingers like uh, these race pimps like Rav Reverend Al Raccoon Hair Sharpton He was very, very, this emailer was very, very upset. Very angry that I called him a raccoon hair. Crook or a pimp. He is, he does have raccoon hair. Anybody that, that had that kind of hair looks like a, a, a shyster. Looks like a swindler. But I'm going to tell you something. And I'm going to tell you something. He, whoever these race baiters you're following, if, if not all of them. They got you right where you belong. You are as racist as they come. You can be racist against whites. You can be racist against your own. You can be racist against uh, Hispanics. You can be racist, period. And you are a racist. Calling me all kinds of names. I hope you're happy. Because I guarantee you. You are not going to step out into the forefront and confront me to my damn face. You will not do that. 
you will stay in your outhouse with your Obama phone and your Obama laptop and keyboard box me. You're soft. You can call me all kinds of names. But I still love you. Because I want you to learn and grow. Because you know why? I was once like you. Even though I was I was less cowardly than you, I took it to f- people's faces. Even though looking back, I was taking the I was taking a dangerous chance, but I was angry and I didn't know why. I was mad and I didn't know why. I was racist and I didn't know why. But I tell you one thing, I went and I voted Democrat constantly. And I was spoon fed that crap constantly. I bought into the games of race baiters. I did the same thing you did. This is Team Lion, like it or not, with Michael Lane on Smack Tongue Radio. 